the Tom Hartman program. I'm Alex Lawson filling in for Tom. And um, this is uh, the last segment that we have uh, with the congressman. And I am going to get to your call, but I actually want to take one bit of, uh, of, of moderator privilege, of host privilege here, if you don't mind, congressman, and talk about something that uh, I know is near and dear to your heart and my heart, which is the, uh, the, the in ludicrously high drug prices that people are facing all over this country. Uh, and the fact that it is this corrupt and greedy pharmaceutical industry, which is the entire reason that the drug prices are so high. It has nothing to do with anything other than greed. Uh, and I know that you've uh, taken a lead on this issue that I think that your antitrust caucus is incredibly well positioned to shine a light on some of this behavior from pharma. Um, I just want to lay that out and see what, what your feelings are in terms of the pharmaceutical industry uh, right now and these high drug prices that millions of Americans are facing. Well, it's unconscionable because you're absolutely right. I mean, this is the – when you, people talk about the health care costs, uh, the pharmaceuticals are right up front and center uh, of driving these costs, and it's all going to uh, record corporate profits for uh, the executives. And we know we can make a difference. For example – uh, Gilead uh, with hepatitis C, it costs almost $100,000 to get uh, the type of medicine you need to have life-saving uh, uh, cure. Many people can't get that. Many of them afflicted by the opioid crisis can't get that. Uh, I led with uh, Congressman Mark Pocane a, a letter uh, to say to the Secretary of Health and Human Services that they should uh, get the patent from Gilead and provide that drug at a reasonable price. They have the statutory authority to do that. Now, here is what is so outrageous about this. Gilead did it, acquired that drug through an acquisition, mm -hmm. through a merger. And they make this argument, well, we need this for research and development. They didn't put any money into research and development. So that is a mirror for just masking these record corporate profits because uh, the demand for these things, and economists will tell you, if you're sick, uh, you're going to pay whatever it takes. I would pay whatever it took if uh, my son, God forbid, or wife were sick, or parents were sick. Uh, and so these, they're just exploiting that. And, uh, you know, what's so sad is Peter Welch, who's one of the best members of Congress from Vermont, uh, when uh, Trump was elected, he said, look, I can't stand him, but I'm going to go meet Trump on uh, pharmaceuticals, because he talked about this during the whole campaign. Maybe he'll get uh, behind Medicare negotiating for drug prices. Maybe he'll get behind allowing us to import uh, drugs from uh, Canada and other countries. Uh, he had a meeting. Uh, Trump said some of the right things. Uh, nothing happened. And the president mm -hmm. has just been silent on everything he campaigned on. So uh, I just... I, I want to push on it a little bit further, this topic, because, you know, you've been such a leader on it and taking it right to the corporations that are causing the high drug prices. I would posit that Trump has done worse than nothing on this one, uh, because th this guy, Donald Trump, put into place at the top of HHS after his previous one proved uh, too corrupt, you know, flying uh, for, uh, private jets on the public dime. Uh, right. So now he puts into place this new guy, Alex Azar, who is he is pharma. He, he ran right. he, he ran one of the companies that's entire business model was to make uh, insulin, a hundred year old drug, unaffordable for the millions of people who need it. And now this guy's at the top of HHS. You're absolutely right. And, you know, we, 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 the Antitrust Caucus is going to. Uh, a focus on, on a lot of different things. The concentration of power and wealth in industries is a huge issue across uh, industries. But pharma is one where people get it. I mean, everyone knows someone in their family, someone in their extended family, who has had to pay uh, outrageous costs for drugs. And often they'll either skip those drugs, or in some cases they won't have access to those life-saving drugs, or in other cases uh, it's bankrupting uh, families. So it's just such a uh, awful issue, we, and, and it's pure greed. I mean, you know, at least in the, the olden days or something, or 20 years ago, maybe Republicans were motivated by an ideology, and you could argue whether trickle-down economics worked or whether 
uh, which I don't think it does, or whether, you know, bottom-up Robert Reich economics work. I think what's so important to realize is this is not motivated by any kind of economic theory. It's just simple greed, the pharmaceuticals funding uh, politicians and getting record profits, and it's, it's outrageous. And um, I uh, am sorry that I just love talking about this, especially when I get the opportunity to talk about it with you. There is, I just want to point out this thing, and um, I know you know this, but I want to make sure everyone gets just how bad it is. We pay, the taxpayers, we the American people pay the vast majority of the research and de development through basic science research, uh, through the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, uh, through university grants, uh, to the research uh, labs in the universities and colleges around the country. We pay to develop the drugs. Then a corporation acquires them uh, either, in, and this is, in, this is the model, acquires them, and it doesn't e actually matter when they acquire them. Uh, it's not that they, because they will often say, oh, well, we acquire them and then we do all of the, the we bring it to market by doing all of the testing, the, the stuff that you can't do. But that's been proven a lie because many times they acquire another company who actually has the intellectual property already, and they still jack the price up. So we yeah. pay the basic research, we pay to grant the patent, to protect the patent, and then we pay the highest drug prices in the world. And now, so you're, this, you're making a more fundamental ahead. point. I mean, you're absolutely right about the pharma example. Like Gilead with the hepatitis C did exactly that. They jacked the prices up after uh, acquiring someone. But what is so sad in this administration, I represent Silicon Valley, and I can tell you that 80% of the innovation out of Silicon Valley came because of government spending, whether it was National Institute of Health or DARPA or the National Science Foundation. The same thing is true about pharmaceuticals. Uh, what is so sad about the current Republican Congress and the president's vision is they are gutting the funding, the actual research and development that we need to be uh, to have advancements in medicine, to have advancements in our economy. They're gutting all of that on the altar of free market absolutism, privatization, and private greed. Congressman Ro Khanna, thank you so much for joining us.